A while back, Chinese broadband company Le Eco, with its first smartphone, the Le One S, entered India and smashed the game. It made every smartphone manufacturer to think, and even Xiaomi, to some extent, got scared by the aggressive offering of the company. So, taking that legacy of producing fabulous products at an impossible prices, Le Eco again wants to disrupt the smartphone market and is back to the bank. So, today, let's find out how. But before we do, my name is Jonathan. This is Tech Teachers and this is all you need to know about the Eco event. Let's get started. Le Eco a while back had an event in Beijing, China. The company didn't just launch smartphones but instead the company showcased its huge ecosystem by launching an array of services which we'll talk about in a moment of course. But the company even launched a brand new TV a VR headset exclusively for the Le Eco smartphones and even a freaking autonomous self-driving car which you can call upon by just speaking onto your smartphones. Yeah, as the Eco in the name of the company stands for ecosystem and this is what the company is exactly trying to build. With all the services, the smartphones and all the accessories are seamlessly integrated with one another with which you can of course enjoy all the services from the company. And even uh, the company even launched a VR headset as well. With this huge ecosystem of services by the company, you can view nine, yes, I said nine services simultaneously at once. I surely don't know why we need so. Yes, let's now jump into what you were eagerly waiting for. Yes, there were three smartphones launched, namely Le Eco Le 2, Le Eco Le 2 Pro, and Le Eco Le Max 2, the flagship of the company. Yes, of the bunch. And the names are pretty confusing, but what you need to know is that Le Eco Le 2 and Le Eco Le 2 Pro are virtually the same phones from outside, as the changes go under the hood. Of the bunch, the base variant, the Le Eco Le 2, the regular one, comes with a 5.5 inch Full HD IPS display with a MediaTek Helio X20 Deca Core processor with 3GB of RAM and 32 gigs of non expandable storage. And there's a 16 megapixel rear and an 8 megapixel front facing shooter. The rear camera can shoot a 4K video, by the way. And if you want to step up the game up and go for the Pro variant, the Logical Low 2 Pro variant, then the display and uh, the design will be almost or exactly the same, but you would get a slightly newer and powerful MediaTek Helio X25 chipset along with a slightly higher megapixel count, a 21 megapixel rear and 8 megapixel front facing shooter with an addition of, of gig of RAM, totally 4 gigs of RAM. And now, if you want to step up your game and jump to the flagship level, then there is no other better option left than the Le Eco Le Max 2, the flagship of the company, as it offers the flagship Qualcomm A20 SoC along with a 5.7 inch quad hd ips display with a 21 megapixel rear and 8 megapixel front facing shooter le eco even confirmed that there will be a 64 gb variant which will eventually come with a whopping 6 gb of ram which makes this smartphone irresistible all the smartphones run on android 6.0 marshmallow but as i said earlier that it utilizes the company's le eco's eui on top of android which will eventually allow all the smartphones and its accessories to seamlessly integrate with one another. I know it's far away from stock Android but it will eventually allow all the things to work with the smartphone. Yeah, but one thing you might probably not have noticed yet is that neither of the smartphones come with a 3.5mm headphone jack. <sighs> but before you freak out, let me tell you, the Type-C adapter comes bundled in the box so you don't need to worry. You may rely on that which comes bundled. So don't worry about it guys. So as always guys, that alone winds up the video. Hopefully enjoy the content. If you did and feel like the one who's holding the camera behind Jason Philly, make sure to crack that like button. And if you thought this video sucked, don't forget to give me a thumbs down and let me in the comments down below what you didn't like so that I can come with a good one for the next time. And if you thought this video was good and you really appreciate it, go ahead and get subscribed. Until then, this has been Jonathan from Tech Teachers. Please follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Instagram, blah, 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 and everything. Until then, thanks for watching.